insects are one of the biggest groups of animals, if you want to call them animals, that we have in the world. Insects form a very important part of the ecosystem, um, not only for they pollinate um, flowers, they're a major food source for lots and lots of animals and other insects. Um, and without those, there would be a complete crash in the whole of the ecosystem. My name is Chris Venard. I work in biology and biochemistry. I have various roles. I help out in teaching for practicals. I do some demonstrating in there, laying out practicals. I also look after all the insects and creatures that we have in this room. We do bath taps uh, in science, so we do that. Uh, do the Festival of Nature and we have school groups coming in a sort of out of term time when it's sort of summertime and we're less busy then we can get all the insects out bring them up to the teaching labs and talk to the school kids then and we have school groups coming in um, and we use the locusts to look at incomplete metamorphosis where you don't see a huge change between the young locust and the adult locust we've also got manduka moths um, which go through a complete change so the actual young caterpillar is completely different to the actual adult moth. Um, so that would be a complete metamorphosis. Um, also, we talk about camouflage. So we use the stick insects for that because it's quite good showing um, some of the stick insects which lie on the ground. They blend in with the leaves. Other ones hang up in the trees and they look like sort of living leaves or dead leaves. We also look at the ants um, just to show how they um, communicate, um, how they live as a colony. Because um, there's only the one female who lays the eggs. Mm -hmm. Um, so they all look after her, so that's to explain like social insects and how they evolve.